All right, Bearcat Hoop origin story back with senior to be. Um, I'm gonna let him introduce himself, but as you guys know, they've been following on the weekly series uh, origin stories where the guys have to deal with their coach's addiction to comics. Uh, share a little bit about their background, superheroes, but more importantly, remind everyone why that we enjoy watching them play and the good things they do for us on the floor. So go ahead, sir. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Will Huntington. I'll be a senior starting in August. Uh, I have played a four and a five for Willamette. I'm probably more of a center starting last year. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from Oakland, California. Uh, so I'm a Cali kid. And Bay Area kid, and I'm uh, studying communications this year, so I'll probably uh, take my thesis in the spring, and I'll be all wrapped up at the end of the year. And then get ready for the real world. Although I keep, you know, like we always use that, coaches, like real world. You guys are living in what couldn't, nothing could be more realer than what you're living in right now. So I think once you graduate, the world might be easier, Will. Yeah, I don't know, it'd be <laughs> interesting to see. I'd like to see. Hey, so let's go here. Um, you know, I'm a Batman guy. Grew up a Batman uh -huh. guy. Sprinkle in a little Green Lantern and then obviously was converted to Marvel through the movies. Did you have a favorite superhero growing up as a kid? Yeah, I always loved Tony Stark. Um, Iron Man. I mean, that that might be, you know, a pretty common a common theme nowadays. But I, I remember going to Iron Man 1 in 2008. Um, we saw it on the big screen and I was just, I was blown away the entire time. I I had seen, you know, the earlier Spider-Mans, but not like in the theater. It's just one of kind of my first real theater experiences. And I mean, Tony Stark, Iron Man, it's just one of the coolest people to ever be in, you know, culture. Like they're just, yeah, yes. uh, he's an absolute animal and everything, everything he does is so cool. I, I would probably put him, I, I'm almost willing to say he's kind of like Marvel's Batman, you know, mm -hmm. just wicked smart, ton of money. Um, but he's a little bit more Los Angeles, a little more LeBron James, Anthony Davis. than a, <laughs> yeah. That's what I come to you for. Intersections and areas I didn't think we were going to go. But I love that about you, Will. Um, for you, when you're rolling, okay, when you're playing at your top, when you're helping us, what is it people can expect to see should, and have seen from you on the floor? What do you bring into the Bearcats? What's your superpower? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that I can – I can be a part of the offense and the defense and I don't have to do so selfishly. Um, you know, I, I love to, I mean, I always love to score, but I really love to distribute the ball, um, whether it be at the top of the key in a draw or, you know, from not from the baseline. I once had five turnovers from the baseline in one game. You should have seen it. Um, but, you know, I just, I just kind of love to get my teammates involved. I love to see them score and celebrate because I'm pretty sure if I celebrated, it would just look, I get made fun of on film. No, but it would be like that would be iconic. Your celebrations are iconic. They're iconically <laughs> starting humor, which we need. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, we had a good time last year, but I just uh, I really enjoyed myself and kind of the game of basketball when I could distribute. And the other end, just have a lot of energy, you know, be be able to be able to talk and to move around. Um, you know, we're all going to get beat every here once in a while. And and on film, I, that's kind of the one thing I watch, just me getting beat. Um, but, you know, it's always you just slide over, take a charge or, you know, get a, get a D board and get the bench riled up. So, uh, you know, we have a great bench, so it's pretty easy to get them riled up. And it's just a blast every time. Has that, it. I mean, I remember your highlight, one of the highlight films you, we got of you in recruiting, you were taking charges as a big man. You know, you were high hedging at half court and that really stood out. Has this role and you buying into doing stuff that doesn't necessarily stat out for you individually, but helps us? Is that been an evolution or has that always been you? Was little Will taking a lot of shots or was he uh, little, little Will. I mean, if I was probably third grade, um, but third grade through sophomore year, I was the number one option on every team that I played on. You know, it wasn't, I'm not, I, I'm not saying this like I'm trying to brag because it was like right. CYO and, you know, I was in seventh <laughs> and I out there by a foot and a half. But, um, you know, I could, I could always score the ball. I could always hit a 15 footer. I could always just kind of move around the court pretty well. Um, but it wasn't until I started really playing varsity basketball um, where in my starting lineup, I started starting about halfway through uh, my junior year. So almost pretty much kind of the same, the same trajectory that I was on. Um, but I started starting and, and the people around me were all D1 commits or future D1 commits. I mean, starting five when I was, you know, I was a senior, it was Willamette, 
uh, University of Washington, Utah, and UC Davis eventually through prep school. That's a squad. And that is a yeah, squad. We were, we were a dirty basketball team. And my, my backup went to Alabama because he was a freshman, you know, like, and he would, he would, he would, we would still go like bucket for bucket. He was awesome, um, even as a freshman. But uh, at the time, like I just, I learned pretty quickly, hey, if you can't get the ball to these guys, you're not going to play. Um, so a lot of that was, was, you know, defensive outlets or just kind of being a distributor in the offense. And then when you do get open and you make that shot or you get that layup, like people go crazy. They love it because they don't see it very often. <laughs> what does that mean for you embracing that role? What's it meant during COVID? How have you tried, how do you work on your game? You know, you've been in different spots during it. So is it finding a park? Is it conditioning? What's it look like for you? A lot of it is, um, you know, it's starting with the diet. For me, it's always started with the diet. Um, just try to be, don't, don't set yourself back when you don't have to, you know what I mean? Try to eat right, eat protein, veggies, apples, you know? Um, and then from there it's, for me, it's staying in shape. Cause if I lose my energy, I, I don't, I'm not useless out there, but I, I'm not going to be, we're not going to win basketball games if I'm just dead out there. Um, so I, what I'm, what I've really been doing is kind of just going on jogs, little four mile, five and a half mile jogs. That's kind of my range. I love how you put little in front of that because that sounds scary. To me. <laughs> I love uh, it. Though. I love it. it. Well, I mean, but you know, it just, it's all about training. Like, you know, I was, when I first got here, I was running a mile and I had to stop. Um, and my girlfriend who plays Willamette basketball as well, she was like, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> but, well, you know, we're at 3,200 feet in central Oregon. So you got to do a little something. Yeah. Um, so then I, I kind of just progressed to that. And what I'll do is I'll actually run to the gym and get, you know, a lift and some core in um, and then kind of walk or stroll or try and get someone to pick me up to come home. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of how I'm keeping my energy up. I'm always trying to stay fit, always trying to stay, uh, you know, relatively in shape based off of the time of the year. Is there a little and I know you're a golfer, William. So is there a little mental edge with golfing that applies to basketball or is that your escape? I I think what I love about golf is that it's one of the few things that I don't do in a team format. Mm. Um, it, for me, it's an escape, but what you notice is that you can dissect a basketball game the same way that you can dissect a golf course. You know, you can put similar IQ to two different things. Now every mechanic is different. You know, it's not, it's not even the same sport at all, but when you get your brain moving and you're starting to be able to, shape shots and look at film like you would and um, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of dive into the art of getting smart at the game then it, it's a little bit it's a little bit kind of intersectional I like that so I should I need to study a little bit more some golf terminology to reach you on some of these things when the season comes up yes you know you haven't you haven't had an issue reaching <laughs> early freshman year <laughs> uh, Will Huntington appreciate you sir origin stories Bearcat <laughs> It's all good, man. Oh, you're the man. One take. Tell the other right. two big two hello. Uh, and if something comes out, I'll be sure to text everybody so we can get to get back together on Zoom. All right. Appreciate it. Thank Sounds you, sir. Good. See you.